If I can make somebody feel something, some sort of an emotion, or think deeply about something, or make them smile, isn't that a wonderful thing to do in a day? Ko magic powder to kuingwa, no titao, ngati fatua kitamaki, ngati fatua kikaipara, ngapuhi metiopodi. I come from a very artistic musical family. My great grandfather, my grandparents, and my parents are all singer musicians. My mum's waters broke when she was singing at her gig in the Matamata pub. And she finished that gig, and after that gig, she was rushed to Little Tutua Hospital uh, where I was born. So I guess I would say that I was literally born um, as a singer. <laughs> We were a very kaupapa driven Fano, and so everything that we did had a strong purpose behind it. You look around, and there's above all things Māori around. We've definitely been taken over big time. Something for the younger generation to think about anyway. My dad was an activist, and at that time, uh, the Māori Party had started, the foreshore seabed protest was huge, and the Tuhoi raids happened. And those kaupapa we were heavily involved with. Music is a vital tool to self-determination. And so my role was to support my mātua uh, by way of waiata. I was lucky enough to be invited to Kōkōtia, uh, which was a writing retreat with Wahine Māori, super Wahine Māori. Yeah, what an experience that was. And writing with Hana Meriraiha made me feel like, wow, someone else can actually say what you want to say in te reo Māori and it still feel like your own waiata. Moki Moki is about my tamariki. It metaphorically talks about the connection I have with them from when they were in the womb in my puku and physically connected to me through the uho. No matter how old they get, we will always be a part of each other. My mahi at Five Mile Old Arcade is to do basically anything to do with music. We do vocal lessons, guitar lessons, we do music mentoring, and we do music production for the iwi. This is my home. These people are my people, and I don't want to just be like a random auntie in the iwi. I really want to have Ngāti Whātua as an entity within the music industry, so that's a huge goal for me. I'm happy to be working with my iwi Ngāti Whātua, with the people that I love, in the place where I'm from, doing what I love. I mean, there's no other feeling. As I reflect on my upbringing, I'm very grateful for the principles and some of the just the world view that I am able to now have. Everywhere that I go to, I want to make a statement, an impact. I just want to be able to speak my truths, be myself, and take people on a journey. I would say that for magic, it's only just the beginning.